the tree. Different spot this time. This time we're over a food plot instead of in the timber. Last night, we spotted a big eight out in this alfalfa field, this green field next to us. We have the wind, it's gonna be really edgy. So we're gonna to have to really watch if anything's coming from that direction. I'm gonna to have to take a shot at it before it gets to my wind, but that's okay. It is November 6th, 5th, I lost today. It's November 5th and I'm born in Northwestern Illinois, doing some whitetail hunting. Well, we filed blood up to here and decided, you know what, when in doubt, get out. We felt the shot was a hair back, went back. It is, it's liver. So we went, had dinner, sat down, and now we got the whole gang here. You got me and Ralph and RJ and RJ and Eddie and Javier and Dean, and we're gonna go find this buck. I was kind of hoping that the reason we weren't finding any more blood was because he was dead. Thanks for finding him, bud. You got it. Appreciate it. Well, thank you so much for being out in the stand with me. Oh, it was awesome. You it know was, I mean? you know. Old I mean, times. Old times. You and I, back in Illinois, it's our first season as non-residents. Yeah, we were non-residents, so we're we non don't have the whole season to do what we, you know, normally do. I've been very fortunate this fall so far. Tag-wise, and, and I mean, filling the freezer up, and this again right here, Northern Illinois. I've got thanks a, to Dean. Yep, thanks to Dean and everyone here. All of you guys helped me do it. When we get when I shot him, we knew it was a hair back. Yes. We figured liver. Went back to camp. We looked for blood centered a little liver. bit. Yep. Centered liver. Came back out after dinner, and I mean he went a little bit, but he didn't go that far. 